Evil Nun 1 was our first horror game and it was a huge success. And it's all thanks to you. Without you none of this would be possible. Thanks for being such a loyal and amazing community. And for reaching 500,000 subscribers we will release a big update for Evil Nun. There will be new skins and items in the shop. But wait. There's more. There will be a brand new ending of the game. With a new animal lurking around. Who might that be? You have already seen this animal before. And we have a special surprise for you in this Q&A video. You will meet the voice actors of the Keplerians villains. This is Tamara Ryan. You probably know her by the name of Sister Madeline. At the end of this year, an update of my game awaits you. Get ready to discover a little more of my story. But you better be fast, because I will haunt you and torment you. You will never escape me! <laughs> You may also know William Bismarck as the blue-handed child from Evil Nun. When you finish the game Evil Nun 1 he escapes with all the laundry kids in a hot air balloon. But who is really William? What happened to him? In Evil Nun 2, we discover that the player trying to escape from Eagle Junior High School is William as a kid, way before losing his leg. And in the end of Evil Nun 2 we see that Nazrat makes eye contact with William. What happened afterwards? Well, in the next Evil Nun Maze update we will add that part of the story. In which you will find out how William lost his leg and why. And don't worry because the whole plot of Evil Nun will come together little by little. We know you're very anxious about Ice Scream 6. And we really hope you enjoyed Ice Scream 5 and all of Rod's memories. We want to give you a sneak peek of the new chapter. Remember that Jay and Mike talked about a kitchen. Well, where do you think this will lead us? Who do you think is more prone to be near a kitchen? Lise or Charlie? Let us know in the comments. Ice Scream 6 is available for pre-registration on the Google Play Store. And for the iOS users it will be an update on your Ice Scream Friends app. The story of Joseph Sullivan is crucial in the Keplerians universe. As we all know, Joseph is the foster father of Rod, and a very successful German-American ice cream maker, owner of his own factory. Joseph took some bad choices, but there was a specific bad choice and he had to pay huge consequences. And this is the reason why he was killed. And you will find out about this in the next chapter of Ice Cream. So stay tuned. We really hope you are all enjoying Horror Brawl. As you all know, this is our first time doing our own multiplayer game and we believe you all like it. Since the release we have received lots of feedback and bug reports from you and we just updated the game this week with many fixes. Now you shouldn't be having troubles when trying to play. And as you could see, we have many many new skins new weapons and lots of new things. 
Get the Horror Pass to claim all the season's prizes. In this season we focused on Evil Nun. But yes, the next one will have a different villain. Who do you think it will be? Let us know in the comments. Remember our last Q&A? Well, things have changed a little bit since then. Now that the pandemic is almost over, we can hang out in the office and have lunch like we used to do. We still work remotely but we go to the office whenever we want. The pandemic has demonstrated that we can be productive from home too. But sometimes we miss the office, so we let the team come and go when they see fit. And the team has grown, too. Now we are 14 members in the Keplerians team. We are very grateful and none of this would be possible without you, our loyal Keplerians. Eliza died back in 1938 in a bombing during war. Sister Madeline had to move to the US and started a life as a nun in Eagle Junior High School. There she started experimenting to bring Eliza back but she failed. Nazrat then got Sister Madeline pregnant. She hoped to have Eliza back. But a kid was born. Rod. So the answer is yes. Rod is Eliza. That's actually a fun story. During the creation of the game we wanted to keep a very 80s suburban American vibe. And the name Rod was very easy to pronounce and remember. But Rod was missing a last name. At the time we were also casting for Rod's voice actor. And we found Ben Sullivan. So, here you have it. Rod's face reveal. Yes. He and Rod have the same last name. When we met him we loved his last name. We thought it would fit very well a villain like Rod. He is the mastermind behind all of Rod's songs. Oh, hello kids. Don't you want to try my delicious ice cream? Hmm? Welcome to my little voiceover studio. It's in a secret spot inside my ice cream factory. That you'll never find. <laughs> you know, I'm quite enchanted that this Rod character and I share the same last name. Sullivan. <laughs> but don't get too comfortable. No, no, no. Because I'm coming back very soon. And I'm going to squeeze you to the last drop. <laughs> Until next time, kids. Stay on the lookout for my ice cream van. You'll know it's near when you hear my little song. We're going to find some kids today. We're looking for the short, yummy ones. We're going to find some kids today. We're going to make some ice cream fun. <laughs> now keep your mouth shut. I'm trying to work in here. And get out of my studio. And don't come back. Unless I invite you back. <laughs> The question of the year. We know you are all wondering a lot about this. And we haven't talked about it. 
But now it's the moment. The latest update was Rebecca's update. And we know you had a lot of fun playing it. Yes, Mr. Meat 2 is going to be a reality. We are already working on it. We can't tell you very much but we want to give you a sneak peek and a hint. Let's see your theories. If you ever wondered how does Mr. Meat voice actor looks in real life, here you have it. This is Mike Pollock, your favorite butcher. The police won't stop me, little mouse. Nothing will. You are all going to be meat for my dinner. <laughs> We hope you liked the video. Thank you very, very much for the 500,000 subscribers. We truly appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Now get out! <laughs> see you soon! <laughs>